below the bottom tier here again and today we'll be doing a budget build for epic map uh namely them and desert this was a request by skywise and i'll be using only four relic slots since it will be a budget build for most players i don't suggest you do epic maps yet until you reach the fifth relic slot simply because of the difficulty of the game but if you want to try your luck go ahead i would also like to thank hidden hero uh his youtube and twitch will be at the bottom he did give the idea for these budget build type videos and upon request of skywise i might as well have started it now the bow it can be anything but epic bow is what i'm gonna be bringing it's about 1000 shadow stones this is about 1125 shadow stones for the melee any 200 weapon would be fine this one is another 1250 shadow stones so that's already about 3500 shadow stones uh the walnuts and the amber bee honeycomb plus frosty delight so normally if your level is below 60 your protection is only one since you reach you only get that after level 10. so your most protected item would be the frosty delight i'm bringing a lantern because i hate the dark bring extra consumables talmud portal scroll energy pots healing and with that being said i'll be doing a vemin desert run and we'll go from there see you in the dungeon all right so we're loading into the dungeon and i'll be speeding up most of the parts here except for the parts where i'm talking so first of all uh, I prefer a two-handed axe for this type of dungeon, but any two-handed would be fine because you can left-click most things, like the wasp. Oops. This one, the giant pharaoh things, you need one right-click. Also, these necronites. Next would be the igums. You're gonna have to deal with them uh, just by dodging and kiting these grunts. One good way to do that would be rolling and smacking them. So, for this budget build, it's Amber Honeycomb, Jahurt Walnuts are good for energy and health. Blissful Tribute is good for health. And Frosty Delight is good for energy. So, you'll need to know the timing of when to pre-attack, like that, to get rid of the wasps, since they're relatively fast. Now, I'll speed up this run, and hopefully I don't consume any consumables or arrows. So okay here, you can see that my health is still relatively high but my mana is extremely low. So what I'll be doing 
would be using the Frosty Delight instead of the other items. Because uh, you would want to use your Blissful Tribute later on when your health is slightly above 1,500. These two, if just in case your health dips below 1,500, you can use these two to help it get back up. Though, be very careful with Blissful Tribute because it does take all of your mana. What you can also do is, you can actually combo off Blissful Tribute and Frosty Delight. Because this one sets your mana to zero, and this one instantly restores 75% of your depleted mana. Meaning to say, if your mana is zero, you get the full 75%. But if your mana is like 100, you get 75% of what your max energy is. My energy is already relatively high due to my level. I can't lock that, so I do apologize for not being able to showcase a proper budget build due to my high level. But it should work regardless. Here, you can see my health has dropped below uh, 1,500 and my energy is still relatively high. What I'll do is, I'll use Walnut to help boost it back up. But I do suggest that you do that when you're running out of energy. So you can still regen uh, afterwards. Because you'll regen at a certain point. I think it's 500, depending on your level. Uh, just do take your time with these dungeons because they do sometimes hit pretty hard. Here you can see that my health is below 1,500, but that is fine. Look at my mana when I use Blissful Tribute. It doubles my current HP, that's why you would want to do it above 1,500, but this is completely fine. My mana is almost zero, so I pop a Frosty Delight and it's back to full. Well, close to full. Those two work really well together, and it doesn't cost all that much to obtain. If you're feeling too overwhelmed since the mechanic of early exits are allowed, you can leave the dungeon anytime you want. Uh, with these items, you should have enough to find the exit before you run out. But sometimes you, it is the last thing that you do find. So bring extra consumables if you're not confident in what you're doing. So here, my energy is low, 
depending on your health, you can use Jahert's Walnut or Amber Bee Honeycomb. I prefer the Amber Bee Honeycomb because right now I prefer the energy. And that's what I'm currently in need of. And with that, that's the full dungeon. So I'll pop the Blissful Tribute and the last two to regain my energy and health. And from there, we'll just move to the exit. Here, morphs or mounts would be really, really nice because you can speed things up and go into the dungeon. To the end of the dungeon, but that's... I don't have the money. <laughs> I'm... I'm a poor person so let's just enjoy the walk going there and I'll explain further on what you can replace once we exit out. So as you saw there, uh, health is not that much of a problem. But energy, you come back out and you barely have any. This fifth relic slot can be dried blush berries. Or you can even replace Jahertz walnuts for dried blush berries. If you don't if you wanna protect something else aside from the frosty delight, you can go with dried blush berries. You can also have the fifth relic slot as the cookie if you feel like your health is not up to par. But the main concern would mainly be the energy. The bows, you don't need it currently with how the game is. So you don't need to buy this. As you can see, I came in with 100 arrows and I left with 100 arrows. I never even took a shot. So, if you want a more budget build than this, I could try it with blue items, like blue weapons, and hopefully uh, it would still be passable. Just let me know in the comments if you would want to see that, and what other maps you want a budget build for. And with that being said, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Please do leave a like. And subscribe if you want to see more content from me in the future. With that being said, below the bottom tier, out.